Hey guys, Kramer Kramer here, and today what I have for you are two things. Autographs, and also, what's in the box? So let's start off with uh, what's in the box, okay? What's in the box? Let's see how I can get into there without breaking it. So what could this humongous box be? Well, I'll tell you straight up that this box is from China. This is the Super Console X. I know it sounds very generic, all right? Um, but what this bad boy is, is, as you can kind of see what it says in there, this is a console. And now when I say console, this is like an emulator console and kind of like a Super Nintendo Classic or a Nintendo Classic or a PlayStation. Um, did they call the PlayStation 1 Classic one Classic? Well, point being is that um, it's very similar to that in which it's an emulator. It has the two controllers in there. I don't know, I don't know if I see anything like that. <clears throat> Here's the, uh, the actual emulator itself. It has like 5,000, 4,000 different games on it. Um, so it set that up, it has every Nintendo, Super Nintendo, a few 64, um, a few Dreamcast, um, but my biggest thing is it has MAME on here, which if you don't know what MAME is, that's arcade games, so therefore it has, um, it has, uh, you know, like the Simpsons arcade games, it has, um, uh, uh, the Ninja Turtle arcade games, the X-Men arcade games, like all Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, all those crazy old arcade games that you can't find anywhere, um, it's going to be on here, already preloaded. So I'm pretty excited about that. Looks like it comes with that. comes with the HDMI. Looks like it comes with uh, the remote. Check that out. Switch to TV game. Use the remote to chew. Wow, check that out. It has... Um, it comes with this little USB input deal, which is interesting. See what's in here. Power adapter, of course. And the controllers, you can tell, are like knockoff PlayStation controllers. <laughs> All right. Wow. Knockoff PlayStation controllers. You can kind of tell whenever you're playing them. So anyway, uh, that's that. I probably will do another video later on showing you guys how it works giving you like a little review, if it works, how well does it work, all that fun stuff. But so far, that's that. I'm kind of excited to play, to fight around with it and to see how well it works. Was it worth the money? I did watch some reviews online and it looks like you're pretty much getting what you're paying for. You're getting thousands of games. Will the quality of the games be great? How will it perform? That's kind of the questions that I'm kind of curious about. So I'll definitely let you guys know and do an update video when it comes to that and look it looks like it has some instructions all right perfect so i definitely will be looking into that as soon as i can let me see if i can get this back in this box and yeah, there we go so it looks like it definitely has everything that was advertised with it and actually i bought it you can find this like you know on wish on dh gate and all aliexpress all those kind of weird websites but I got this from Amazon. That way, if they screwed me over and it sucks, I could, Amazon's pretty good about, you know, helping you guys out. All right. Now, this right here, some autographs that I don't ever recommend going to eBay or anything because if you don't really know what you're looking for, you could easily be screwed over. Um, and I'll kind of stick with things that are authenticated by, like, Beckett or PSA or... Um, have a JSA authentication to say that it's legit. But I joined this uh, Facebook group, and it's all people that are, um, like, trusted sellers. Um, and basically, I saw some good deals, and I, and I was like, you know what? Let me roll the dice. Let me see what they got. And then compare to things that are Beckett authenticated and see um, if it's worth actually getting. All right? So... I don't really want to 
spoil the surprise as to what I got because I'm pretty psyched about what I have. But I also don't want to, you know what? It feels like everything in here is kind of in a uh, protector already, so screw it. I'm just going to kind of rip this thing open. I'm not having any problems doing that. So anyway, I love how they put do not bend. Oh, and this guy definitely knew what he was doing. Two pieces of cardboard. All right, as for what we got, super psyched about this one. All right, um, Joker, okay? This is signed by Todd Phillips. He directed Joker as well as Road Trip and all the Hangover movies as well. So yeah. Definitely really, really like this. Love this. Saw this midnight release. Was very excited, and I loved this. So anyway, Joker, 11 by 14, I believe. This is definitely going to frame them being put up. Love it. All right? And then I saw he also had another director I really liked, and it kind of fit this theme, you know, DC, right? And this is like dark and DC, you know. On the flip side, you got, you know, Superman, the original movie. And this is signed by Richard Donner, the director. So I kind of went on and on the directors. Got a really good deal for that one. Um, so that's Superman the movie, signed by Richard Donner. And if you don't know who Richard Donner is, you don't know movies. I guarantee you, you watch something by Richard Donner. Richard Donner has directed st stuff like The Omen, which is horror. He's directed Superman the movie. He directed half of Superman 2. He directed all the Lethal Weapon movies. He directed The Goonies. I mean, this guy has directed plenty of movies, and chances are you watch something. I mean, come on. Who hasn't seen The Goonies? Who hasn't seen Superman? Um, who hasn't at least seen a little bit of a Lethal Weapon movie? All right, but anyway, really good um, director, so I was really excited to get both of these. In fact, Richard Donner, believe it or not, if you know that famous episode of The Twilight Zone where William Shatner is on there and he sees, you know, the... um. The, the creature on the wing. There's something on the wing. Remember that episode? He actually directed that episode before he directed any movies. So he directed TV episodes. And he directed that episode. A little fun fact. So this is Kramer Kramer. And, uh, toodaloo!